let me scroll the window down a little let's talk about this bar that runs along on the bottom of the screen called window lift which does the same as the task bar in windows system but there is a lovely number on the right which tells you the number of workspaces available this means some different separate desktop screens I love that one I can open workspace number one let me click on it by default workspace number one is selected I can open a terminal here I can select a different desktop open my home directory I can select the third one open a different application and so on for example email this is useful for users to do separate tasks and organize their work by the way there are three methods to switch between workspaces one is as you saw before clicking on this number then selecting the workspace preferred or you can press control out then the up or down arrow to navigate between workspaces this is workspace number one this is workspace number two if you select the arrow with keeping selecting control out you can navigate between those workspaces i love that option also you can move applications to different workspace for example if you want to move this terminal to workspace number two you can do right click on the top of the terminal then select one of two options move to workspace down which means if it is currently on workspace one it will move to workspace two or you can move to another workspace and select the preferred one for example let me move it to workspace three it moved there is nothing down there workspace two still has my home directory workspace three has the terminal let me move it back to workspace number one by the way, the current workspaces then is not available to be chosen, of course. Let's select workspace number one, move it back to the original workspace, and here it is. The third method is for you to discover. Quick hints. Starting the terminal. We know that if we do right click on a free space, empty space on the desktop, then selecting open terminal, this will open the terminal. Another option is, just let me scroll up from applications, system tools, scroll a little bit down, terminal, this will open the terminal. There is another lovely option if the terminal is already open is to click on file then open terminal which allows you to open a separate terminal let's try it it opened a separate terminal or you can select open tab which allows you to open another terminal session in this currently open terminal As you can see, it opened a new tab within the same terminal. As you can see from the file menu, there are two shortcuts for opening the terminal. By pressing Shift, Control, N or Shift, Control, T to open a new tab. Let's try both of them. Shift, Control, N opened a new terminal. Shift, Control to open a new tab let's close the currently open terminals locking the screen or logging out entirely can be done from the menu 
for the username on the far right side of the top bar as you can see click on the far right side click on the username then select log out to log out this user or click on this lock to lock the screen or the power to restart or power off the system if you click on the lock button this will lock immediately the desktop as you can see it is immediately locked to unlock your system you can press enter this will start asking you for the password let me click escape or cancel you can also try the space from the keyboard it will do the same move the curtains up then you can enter the password to unlock the system then click unlock or press enter you have unlocked the system if you want to power off or restart you can click again here then click on the power system will be powered off automatically in 60 seconds you can click cancel or click restart to restart immediately or power off to power off immediately and do not wait for this automatic countdown let me cancel let's try log out click on the username try log out again the countdown is here let's try log out let's now switch the theme by clicking here to the modern one type the password click sign in or enter as you can see the menus has been different the activities where you can search for the thing you want to open or start for example terminal to open the terminal or Firefox quick accesses are here home directory files software to manage and so on or this applications to show the applications and you can see the frequent ones and if you select all you can access those all applications this is the modern thing to power off or reboot your system you can click on the top right corner then select power power off or restart or you can press control alt delete to do the same on the physical system for vmware workstation control alt delete is secured so instead you can try control alt insert it will do the same but this is just for vmware workstation for the physical setups it is control alt delete this was a quick check to the gnome desktop or the gui for linux system we will not talk about it so much in those capsules and we will just focus on the command line interface do not forget the following do not subscribe like share or comment if you want to stop this video by you and if you do not like to spread the knowledge among others that might need it please do subscribe like share and comment if you are not that person thank you and have a great day linux lovers see you soon